mixture for the Magical Ice Kingdom, but it's essentially just a walkthrough with different ice sculptures. There's an ice slide to go on. You can have ice drinks at the end. It's it's amazing. And the entrance is just over here next to Ice Mountain, which is a roller coaster that's indoors. Once you come out of the Magical Ice Kingdom, there's also an ice sculpting workshop where you can pay extra once again to, uh, to make your own ice sculpture, which is pretty cool. And also, toilets are, are that way. So, Winter Wonderland is, is busy, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's, it's packed. I mean, it is midday, it's about 12 o'clock, so halfway through the day and I'm assuming it will get busier and busier the later that it goes on because people want to ride rides in the dark, um, but no, it's, it's quite nice to be honest, it's nice and spacious, I've got space to vlog, um, but it's, it's quite big, it's a big open area is Hyde Park, so trying to look for the specific rides that you want to go on is quite hard. Um, obviously the big ones like Olympia Lupin, they're easier to spot than some, but I'm trying to find uh, a ride called Dr. Archibald's Something Time Adventure, which is like a virtual reality one uh, where you wear, wear like a VR headset and that's really cool. Uh, but like I said, because it's so big, I can't actually find it anywhere in this winter wonderland, but we've got three rides to go on today, uh, which I think is quite good. They're about £9 each ride, uh, give or take. Some rides are six, some rides are eight, uh, but the main rides are about nine to ten pounds. Um, but no, we're just gonna see what we can find first. Hit me! Look at that! That's insane. That is a beast. Flip me. So we found it. It's just how do we how do we get to it? Is going to be the uh, the main problem. But I'm assuming we're just going to walk here and go around. But I mean, look at all these Christmas little shops and little Christmas themed rides. It's, it it really is quite magical here. And like I said, I'm assuming the later you go at night, the kind of more grand it must be. But Flip me, this is absolutely bonkers. Toilets are quite well labelled as well. You've got men, ladies, disabled, baby, and also a place to wash your hands as well. And there's a little bit of a map here as well. So if you need help, look for one of the toilet pillars, and then there's a map that tells you where everything is. So you've got Santa Land, which is kind of for the kids. Circus Town, which I'm assuming is more the entertainment. This kind of section, which is kind of the Ice Kingdom, the wheel, that's kind of like the uh, where the markets are and stuff. The Bavarian Village, that's food. The Ride Zone, that's self-explanatory. That's where all the rides are. And the traditional fun fair at the bottom as well. And then, of course, the Angels Christmas Market. And then the ice rink as well. Um, oh, and a fire pit. So, yeah, it is absolutely massive. I mean, Dr. Archibald's got its own little section over here with the little owl, but just what a structure. Just the amount of time it must take to build that. Immense. Have you noticed that it's volume two as well, Dad? Is it? We've missed out on volume one, but <laughs> hopefully it's not a continuing storyline. to go through this thing. This looks mad. Whoa. This is next level. Oh yeah. This is back in two minutes. This is... Oh wow. Hello, you are finally here. 
as you can imagine, I am the amazing Dr. Akiba. So you are here for a great journey through time in life. Your new time machines have just arrived at the train station. Dr. Akiba, we have yet to tell the guests to hold on to the bars in the vehicle at all times. Also, they need to stay inside their corridor throughout the journey. Thank you for telling us. That information is really important. Follow the path. Hurry up. Let's go to the gondolas and start your journey. Got a little uh, Pokemon game here. You can win some Pokemon. I don't know Pokemon, so I'm not going to name any of the characters. Got Santa Jam. Little basketball game there. They've got plenty of games and stuff. You can buy tokens as well uh, for the ice bar as well. By the looks of things. Look at that thing. Hangover. Yeah. I think I'd need to be pretty drunk to uh, to ride that thing. No chance am I doing that. It just seems to be what we're looking at. I don't know. Might be. Well, well, there's Olympia Lupin. Oh right. You can win a husky. Husky, anyone? Carousel. That looks like another carousel bar. So they've got a couple of these bars. Um, where you just have a drink and you just stand on it and it, and it spins round. I, th I think that's pretty cool. If you don't want to spend any money here on, a, on actual rides and you just want to spend money on drinks, get yourself on one of them carousel bars, you get a free ride. It seems that uh, Dr. Archibald's got quite a few little rides because here's another one called uh, Time Machine The Coaster. So I don't know whether it's uh, by the same people, um, but that's like a little kind of like spinning ride if you if you're a fan of them and it looks pretty cool looks good not as good as dr archibald though that is that is number one surely little telephone box game there wanting to win i reckon it's down there we are now trying to find the haunted house well the ghost train uh, but it's but it's once again quite hard to find because there's just so many things to do here so many stores so many games You can't find what you're looking for. So ghost trains are kind of generic at a fun fair um, You know you, you usually see about four or five at each fun fair. It's it's quite a common thing But this ghost train is a little bit different um, If you've ever rode rides such as Nemesis um, It's got them type of seats so it's actually hanging down so it's not 
like a little car. It's more like a roller coaster car that, that you ride on with this. But yeah, this looks really interesting. I like how they've still decorated it for Christmas though. They've, they've got snow on the building, they've got tinsel all over it. It, it just looks really good. But will it be as good on the inside as it is on the outside? The most cases with these ghost trains, no. But I'll give it a go. I'll walk in with an open mind and I'll tell you my review after. God, the views from London is insane, absolutely insane. Here we go. I'm bricking it a little bit. Here we go. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh my Christ. Whoa. There's one. on the back row as well. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs>
of speed. Oh my god, here we go again. Last little spin. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is nuts. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. What a ride. Flipping Nora, that was insane. Insane. So we just came out of the very famous, world famous, Oktoberfest roller coaster, Munich or Olympia looping. My God, I was sat on the back wearing my little chest harness GoPro. Flip me, that is insane. I'd say Hyde Park's just so good for unique and just different roller coasters and that certainly was one. The amount of loops, it was not as intense as I thought it would be, but it was still that intense in terms of enjoying it. You didn't feel sick after coming off it like some of these kind of fun fair rides do, but my God, sitting at the back was so worth it. I mean, in terms of a YouTube thing, sitting on the front probably would have been better for the views, but sitting on the back felt more intense and if you're going 